you won't believe how easy it is to create a booking app with JotForm. So follow me to my desktop to do it right now. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a mobile app with JotForm. No developers, no coding, everything is drag and drop type. It's super easy to create it. So let's get started. This is my main dashboard. So get started. The link we provided in the description. And to start with this booking form, it's going to be super easy. So let's go into our section, the drop down menu, and we're going to go into my apps. So let's go into my apps. And this is where we're going to create our mobile apps on JotForm. Now to get started, go into create app and we have several options. We can go ahead and start from scratch. So everything is from scratch. You start from every single element. You can use a template, which is super easy to do. You can clone an existing app if you have previous apps that you've created, or you can build a store. So if you plan to sell products, use this one. In this case, we're going to use template. So remember, we want to create a booking app so our clients can book our services super easily with this app. Now, there's several categories in the left, and in this case, we want to do booking apps. So right now, in this template library, there's 70 available. You can click on these, you can preview them, you can test them out, you can see how they flow. So in this case, it's loading up the app. We can go ahead and test it. We can scroll through it, we can click on it, we can click on, for example, contact us, and it'll take us to the section of the app where we can view all of this. We can go back, we can view the menu, we can view the feedback section, everything from this mobile app. So we're able to preview the templates before we actually use it. So it's really useful. So in this case, let's see this barbershop one. See how it flows, how it opens up. Okay, really nice looking. We can schedule the appointment. We can go in and view the products. So this one is looks really nice. We can customize everything. So using templates is really useful. So let's use, let's use this one. Let's use the template. And this is going to open up the application editor. Here we go. We have the application editor. Now, one of the beauties of using a template is that it's going to also generate the form that's linked to your booking system. So in this case, if I go to schedule appointment, you can see that there's a little pencil here. We can edit the form or if we have created a previous form that's for booking, we can change it from here, change the form. But in this case, let's go ahead and edit the form that it created for us automatically. So in this case, it's a booking form for a consent appointment form. So maybe this is not what we want. We can go ahead and change everything. So it's super easy. So like I said, everything is just like type, click, point, etc., And it's super easy. So I can click on this, change everything. For example, I'll just change it to a point form. Super easy. If I want to remove this, I can go ahead and do so. If I need to change the properties, I can do so from here. So in this case, for example, client name, if I need more options, I can also ask for the middle name. In this check boxes, I can change everything. I can go ahead and remove it if I don't need it. Here's my appointment system. If I click on this, I'll click on the properties and then I'll get the settings for my booking system. So this is one of the most important elements for this booking app. So take some time, set this up. We have dedicated videos for booking, but it's pretty much straightforward. So you have your appointment slots, your intervals. You can create more intervals here. Launch time from two. So if you want to set like a lunch break, you can set this on or turn it off. You got your general settings, your limits, your advanced options, all from here. And then you got more elements in this particular form. So like I said, you can go ahead and edit these. Every edit that you make is going to go live on your app. So if you publish your app, you shared it and everything, it's going to update automatically with the changes that you make. OK, so let's go back into the app editor. So like I said, we can use this form that's created automatically and edit it or we can change the form if we have another booking form or maybe you want to create one from scratch. We can use it from here. OK, we got the form label, which is what it says right here on this particular button. We can change this if we like really easily. You can shrink it in case you want to add another button there so it's not too complex or maybe you want to make it more compact. So it's super easy to do that that way. And there's several elements in a template. So, for example, we can go ahead and change the logo from here. We can go ahead and remove it, upload our own logo, change what it says right here. Maybe it's not a barber shop. You just like the template, but it's not a barber shop. So we can change it to something else so for, for example, and then change the description for this. And then this one has a store built into it. So it's pretty cool. You have the appointment booking system and you have the option to sell products in this app. Now, in this app, I showed you in the demo that there's different sections. 
in the sections you'll find it over here for example the about you section the contact section and we can add another page and this will pop up in the menu plus we can add buttons to jump into these sections so if you want to jump into a section where it's actually the booking system we can do it by adding an element so let's go ahead and add an element there's several elements in the basic section you got your payment elements like the one you're viewing right here for the payment there's a donation element since we added the product list we're not able to add the do donation box but that is possible you got image gallery image slider videos map table elements page elements you can divide you can space etc all with this there's also widgets several widgets available several of these that you can use really useful ones for example whatsapp button so if I add a WhatsApp button, it's going to go straight to WhatsApp when they click on it on their mobile phone. Super useful. When you add this element, you can go into properties and add your phone number. So it jumps into your phone number. So add your phone number right here and it goes straight to WhatsApp when someone clicks on this on their mobile phone. So super useful. There are several widgets available that you can use right here. And like I said, if you add a new page, you can add those into your booking system. Let's go ahead and preview this app from here so you can go ahead and test it out. See how it flows so if i go to menu for example i can go to about a section i can go to the contact section let's go back into home let's go into the schedule appointment system let's go ahead and fill out the form here we go and we can schedule right here super easily from the app that we've just created then like i said if you add a new page it's gonna pop up right here so if you have another page that you want to add maybe you want to separate the store because in this case the store is in the main app section Maybe you want to change it into a new page for products that is possible with pages. So it's super easy to use. Now, once you've made your application, you're going to ask yourself, how can I actually share it? How can my clients download it? Well, it's super easy. Go into publish and in publish, you have several options to share your app. One is via link. You can go ahead and share the link or you can go into share app section, view more. One of my favorites is sharing via QR code. For me, it's super useful to have a QR code that I can go ahead and download it and add it to all my printables. So I have a, if I have a business card, if I have something on my business counter where people can just scan it and make their appointments later on, download the app and have it on their phone, this makes it super practical. Or you can use other options like share on Facebook, WhatsApp, X, LinkedIn, etc. All those options available. But like I said, my favorite one is the QR code but you can use any of these options, even share it by email. So it's super easy to publish and share your booking application. But there you go. That is how you're going to create it super easily without any coding or developer knowledge. So I hope you like this video. Let us know here in the comments what you think about this application. Let us know if you like it, if you need other elements. Let us know what you think about this application in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit that little bell notification so you get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.